Uh, at first, I want to show you uh, bridge connectors on full contour. Uh, and this is the mu much better way to do full contour bridges, much more superior than using silhouette or any sort of other bridge connector. So here we just have a three unit bridge, uh, and it's a full contour zirconia. And if you select all three, you'll see under bridge, the type should come in default as none. Uh, if it is silhouette, you can drag it down to none. Uh, and you can actually change this within the case uh, if you uh, have it set incorrectly. And I'll show you that really quick. Uh, at the top left in design, um, you know, you'll notice uh, you can select the tooth or the bridge connector itself. So I'm just going to select one of the bridge connectors, the rearmost. Um, and then down at the bottom left, it'll actually give you connector settings. So instead of having like silhouette or elliptical 9mm, you just select none. Um, and this is a good way, you know, to change it. Say if you're doing anatomical, it comes in default with silhouette. You can come back and, uh, and, and fix it. So the way the bridge connectors work with full contour with none as a bridge connector is it's done through intersection. Through, so through having them uh, collide. Uh, and crossing through each other. And so right here, I'm just kind of fixing my contact. And then I'm just using, uh, you know, the global or the transform tool and pulling it out. Now you see here, I have a nice intersection on the two restorations, the Pontic and the Prep, you know, and you can do a little tweaking. Um, and don't worry about making the connection too large uh, in this stage. Um, uh, in the next step, when it finalizes, you'll see uh, it's it's much easier to make it a thicker, broader con or broader contact and a thicker connection. So I'm just kind of moving on, um, and you see up here, you know, in finalize is actually when it takes the three restorations and it c and it fuses them all together. So it's like a fused single piece. Uh, and now let's take our wax knife tool, and I like a strong. Uh, strong on the strength and a small diameter and you just go around the bridge connector and since and since they are fused together they'll actually it'll just pop out with that smooth tool uh, and if you have a hard time getting to um, the interiors or the interproximals you can just hide the operative arch and so this one say I want to bring it down you can take you know the the wax knife add tool and you can kind of bump it down but rarely you know you need to do this you know, you rarely you need to make the connection that strong, especially, you know, um, with a little smoothing. Um, and then the, this first connector I'm doing is a little overkill, I think. This next one, which has this even smaller intersection, I'm just going to really lightly go around the edge, uh, the intersection, and just really just slightly touch it up. And don't worry about if, you know, it's too tight. The, the mill... Um, will know that actually hang on undo that I didn't like that the mill will know it won't be able to get into that interior surface and it will not attempt to go in there so here we have our final product kind of one bulky and then one kind of a thinner standard type I'm actually going to take my cross section tool uh, and drag it across the the uh, bridge connection and this is a great way to tell right here uh, the 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 square the square area of the connection. So th this is what you would typically see with the normal bridge connection tools that you know center guide where it's telling you the strength of it. This is a way to do that with this system. You do a 2D cut tool and then you click on the um, the area measurement tool. Uh, and now so next I'm going to go over uh, bridge connectors on anatomical copings with facial cutbacks and this also works with interproximal struts. Um, so uh, this is just me setting up the case, you know, so it's an anatomical coping uh, and an anatomical pontic. Um, so that's good. And let's select all three. And you notice it defaults with the silhouette. Um, I'm going to bring this down and just do none. And again, if, it, if you go through this with silhouette, it's not the end of the world. You can change the individual bridge connectors um, it, during design. And so... Uh, you know, with anatomical, you do a full contour design, and uh, and you do the, it the same exact way as you would a, a full contour uh, bridge connection. Um, the only difference being, you know, it is anatomical, so you have to do facial cutbacks, you know, on um, all three units. The pontic can be a little tricky. You want to make sure lingual band is selected when when you do the pontic, and get these control points around. And you kind of slowly bring it around, 
And the trickiest thing with uh, Pontix is if you go too far, it switches sides on you. And I'll show you that in one second. I'm just going to actually, I'm going to skip forward here because you get the idea. You kind of pull it over, making sure our facial uh, is the cutback. And here we have it pretty close, but now I want to get a little bit closer. So I'm going to move these points, you know, around to make it uh, a little bit more of a facial window. And if I hit um, apply, or actually this one was a little, little bugged out, so I'm going to actually have to sculpt to apply. Notice now it's switched sides, so I'm going to just tweak it back, just pull it back slightly. I'm going to go back to hitting apply or sculpt, and that is more ideal. You know, it's it's not perfect, but Pontix are a little buggy um, with uh, anatomical features. Um, and if you've done them before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and so, uh, you know, the facial cutback is just like what you'd normally do. Uh, and if you have any questions, there's actually a video on how to do facial cutbacks. Um, uh, so, you know, go watch that one if you have any uh, questions on how to get that. Um, and I'm, so I'm going to kind of run through this quickly. Um, so I just hit um, apply on the facial cutback. I got it to where I liked. And so we, now we have our facial. And so, you know, if it's an interproximal strut, um, it would be along the same lines. You know, you'd have the interproximals as full contour. Um, so you'd be able to bridge them very uh, in a very similar way. So I'm just kind of tweaking this. So I've got it where I want, and let me just skip forward. So now we have all of our facial cutbacks on all three units. Um, and now once you're happy, uh, you know, I'm just going to hit OK. Um, so right there, I'm just checking, make sure my bridge connector is at none. Um, you know, just kind of go through it, hit OK, OK. And just like before on the full contour, um, bridge connector, you'll see, uh, you know, when you go forward into the finalize step right before saving, it fuses the three pieces together, and you notice um, you will not be able to change past the cutback. Uh, so to change that, you go down to the bottom left, allow sculpting under lingual bands. Uh, and this is, this is the big thing with um, anatomical copings, uh, you know, pretty much, you know, full contour bridge connector. Um, if we allow that, then like before in the last part, you'll be able to take your smooth tool and you'll be able to bulk out that connection. Something really important, when you turn on sculpting under lingual band, not to touch around the marginal area, you can def destroy the, um, the uh, distance offset on the margin and make it too thin uh, and not be able to be milled. And so we're, we're kind of just tweaking it, making it nice and thick. Uh, and then once I have it where I want it, you know, be careful around the actual cutback area with the smooth tool. You know, you might not get your desired results. So I'm going to do the 2D cut tool one more time like before to the surface area, 9.3, not bad. Um, and uh, we are good to go. Any, um, if you guys have any questions about this technique, uh, you'll find, you know, it saves you a lot of time opposed to using silhouette, you know, and leaving a little space. Um, and hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if any comments or questions, post them below. Thanks for watching.